Hi, and this time welcome to the 2021 version of Accelerated Computational Linguistics. My name is Till Rolando, and even though we're going to be using many of the videos from the 2020 class, I still wanted to welcome you and to tell you a little bit about the structure for this year's class. So the pandemic's still here. We're still in the middle of the COVID emergency. So we're going to be using these guiding principles as we move through the class. The most important of which is compassion. Right now our priorities still are health, both physical and mental, and we all need to be mindful of each other's well-being. I'm going to try to do this towards all of you, and I expect you to do this towards each other. To be always mindful when you're interacting with everyone else and to make sure that, you know, you and your friends are doing well, and to speak up if there's any way we can help you with. All interactions need to be respectful in the class. We're going to be using uh, means of communications that are mostly digital, for example, Slack, Canvas, emails. So please always keep in mind that you should treat these interactions as if they were face-to-face -face interactions and apply the same respect you would to, to a person st standing in front of you as you would in any of these written communications. Finally, we're going to be mindful of solidarity through the class. We are all learning and we're going to create an environment, as a matter of fact, a community but we can all feel comfortable asking questions, enriching each other's personal projects from our feedback, and where, for example, if you're stuck or if you have a problem with the class, you're always comfortable asking a question um, from uh, to the TAs, to other students, or to myself. And again, if you ever feel like you're stuck, like there's something you, you need help with, never be afraid to speak up and, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out together somehow. The evaluation for this year is going to be slightly different. We're, it's going to have three parts. The first one is weekly programming exercises. Each week you're going to have a short assigning, assignment related to whatever we studied that week. We're also going to have ethics questions twice in the quarter. There's a lot of ethical issues with work in natural language processing. So first we're going to have a discussion and later in the quarter you're going to write either an essay or a creative project related to these. Finally, we're going to have a final project. And this is the final project that you are going to propose. You're going to work on whatever you're interested in or whatever is helpful to your career or your work. It's going to be split in four parts. Uh, first, you'll propose the project. You'll uh, develop the proposal more fully. You'll give us a presentation so that I and your classmates can give you feedback and then you're going to do a write-up as if you were submitting it to a conference. We're going to be using two textbooks. The first one is the Jurafsky and Martin Speech and Language Processing. Uh, we're going to be using the third edition. It's a book so new that it hasn't been finished, they haven't finished writing it yet. We are going to be using the current drafts and whenever there's a chapter that is not ready yet, we're going to be using chapters from the second edition. Uh, both of these, by the way, are free and available online. We'll also be uh, going to be using Katherine Anderson's Essentials of Linguistics as an optional reading so that you can, um, you know, if there's a part of the linguistics that we're studying that interests you, you can go in more depth with the book. For programming, we're going to be using Python 3 as our main language, and most of the time we're going to be using the Anaconda Package Manager. This is, of course, to help us with installations and so forth. Every now and then we're going to be using uh, Google Colab for a few of the projects. And by the way, I have experience with Unix and Windows, and many of the TAs have experience with Mac. So amongst all of us, we should have your operating system covered. Um, that's me, um, Rolando, and these are TAs for the class. Siha Huang, Hannah Kidanemariam, Joseph Hajar, Jake Epstein, and Isaac Feldman. So each of you is going to be assigned to one of the TAs at random, and they're going to be the ones helping grade uh, your assignments for the class. Also, they're going to be, you know, helping with questions. And again, if you have a question or a problem with your project, we'll all figure it out somehow. What are you going to be doing in a typical week? The first thing you'll do is watch the videos for the lectures. And here I want to tell you very briefly why we're using the 2020 videos. It's for a couple of reasons. First, making them takes a lot of time. Not just the time of recording the videos, but also making sure that they are accessible. 
all of them, for example, already have hand corrected subtitles and making those again would take a lot of resources and time. So we're going to be reusing most of the ones we have. Second, um, not a lot of things have changed in some of the areas of the class from 2020. So that's why we can use them again. There's going to be some weeks where we will have new videos. For example, week six, where we study deep learning. Things uh, have moved a little bit in that area. But uh, for most of the videos, the, most of the weeks, that's where we're going to be watching the 2020 ones. After you watch the videos, I uh, please read the assigned readings. These are uh, a good way to solidify the knowledge from the lectures and to, you know, help you learn even more about the topic. We're going to participate in discussions through Slack and uh, each week you also do a little bit of work on your ethics or your final project. Finally, most of our work is going to be asynchronous, but we will have weekly Zoom meetings to discuss the week's topics. So each week we're going to have uh, a number of slots that you can you know, subscribe yourself into and these are optional meetings. You don't need to come to the meetings, but they will be helpful if uh, you learn by discussing. It would, they also be useful to, for meeting the rest of your classmates in the class and so forth. Uh, the Calendly link to those meetings is going to be on the campus. I'll also have Zoom office hours in case you have you want to have one-on-one -on -one meetings or you have some questions. And uh, during the first week, I would love to meet all of you. So if possible, please go to the Calendly link and set yourself up for one of the weekly meetings. And yes, let's get started.